Flux is one of the top AI image generator models currently available. You can create amazing, high-quality and hyper-realistic AI images using various Flux models. However, maintaining consistent characters is really challenging. And the good news is, Flux brings a new image generation model called Flux Context, which preserves unique elements of an image, such as a reference character or object in a picture, across multiple scenes and environments. So, whether you want to create consistent characters, scenes, or elements, everything is possible now using the Flux Context model. Today, I will share the method of accessing Flux Context and generating consistent character images using Flux Context. So, subscribe to our channel and start watching the video. You can access the Flux Context model on the Flux Playground. However, I will put the link in the description. This is the Flux Playground. Once you create an account, you will get 200 credits to generate images. Okay, to generate the images, we have to enter the prompt here in this box. I am entering a ready prompt to generate a portrait image of a model. After entering the prompt, you can add a reference image from here. This time, I am skipping it. Next, we have to set the Flux model from here. You can see that the Flux 1 Context Pro model is selected. You can change the model from here. As I will use the Context Pro model, I won't change the model. Now if you click on the three-dot menu from here, you will find several options like Aspect Ratio, Batch Size, Safety, Output Format, and Seed. Set all the values as per your need, and once everything is set, hit the Send button. Now, we have to wait for some time. And here it is. The image is ready. Honestly speaking, the quality of the image is not up to the mark. It clearly looks like an AI-generated image. It may be caused by the prompt. So, I am customizing the prompt. Once the prompt is ready, I will regenerate the images. And here are our images. Now, it looks better. Alright, now let's try to create more images with the model face. To do that, we have to download the face image first. To do that, open the image and then click on the three-dot menu from here, and then download the image. Once the image is downloaded, come to the prompt box. I am entering a prompt. A woman taking a selfie in the 90s in a nightclub, hot atmosphere, having a great time dancing and having fun, amateur photography style. After entering the prompt, we have to upload the reference image. I am uploading the image I created earlier. Once the image is uploaded, set the model and other settings. Once everything is set, hit the send button and then wait for some time. And here it is. You can see that Flux Context generates two images for us. And look at the quality of the images. Both images have similar facial features to our reference image. It perfectly creates high quality images with natural effects. The prompt adherence is quite good. Here, you can notice that it keeps similar dresses to our reference image. However, we can customize everything with the prompt. For example, now I am entering another prompt where our model will wear a black gown and stand in a ballroom in a seductive look. After entering the prompt, hit the send button. After waiting for some time, I got these results. It perfectly placed the character as per my prompt. However, you can see some issues with the faces, especially in the eye area. This is not exactly a great image, it needs some improvement. So I am entering a detailed prompt to see the difference. However, you will find all the prompts in the description box. Okay, after setting all the settings, hit the send button and then wait for some time. And here it is. The images are ready. And now look at the quality of the images. This is amazing. So to get high quality images, we need some detailed prompts. You can use my prompt if you want. Now let's assume I want the same image but in a different outfit. To do that, I will download one of the images. After downloading the image, replace the image with the existing reference image. Once done, type, now she is wearing a pink t-shirt and jeans in the prompt box and then hit the send button. And here it is. You can see the result. This is basically the same image, but in a t-shirt and jeans. You may find some issues with the quality. However, we can fix it using a detailed prompt like before. In this method, you can create an image with your model in any style. Create images in any outfit or any place. Just enter the prompt, set the reference model and other settings, and then hit the send button. You will get amazing results. 
Most importantly, not only human faces or characters, but you can create consistent images with any object or product. For example, I have this perfume, and I want to create an image with this product. So, what do I need to do? Upload the perfume bottle as a reference image. Once the image is uploaded, enter a detailed prompt in the prompt box and then set all other settings. Once done, hit the send button and then wait for some time. And here it is, you can see the result. Flux Context creates amazing images with the perfume bottle. This is exactly the same perfume bottle I uploaded as the reference, and the result is really amazing. So in this method, you can create amazing product images using the Flux Context model, and the result is amazing. Now the question is, can we create images with the same product and our own model? The answer is not yet on Flux Playground, because we can only enter one image as the reference image. However, it's possible in another way. If you want to know more about this, let me know in the comments section. I will make a separate video on it. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about the Flux Context AI Image Generator model. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!